I'm gonna love you What's going on everybody, it's Assassin here with another video And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get Sony Vegas Pro 15 for free I'm sure most of you guys know how to do it But this is a very simple and easy method Totally free, no viruses at all if you guys do end up getting a virus, let me know. But, anyways, so what you guys are going to do to get Sony Vegas, and actually, if you guys don't know what Sony Vegas is, it's a video editing program that you could use to edit, like, videos and stuff, and, like, make animations, um, YouTube intros, which I guess is an animation. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to show you guys how to get it really fast and really simple. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go on Google and type in Crow Haste, and... If you guys don't know what this is, I think I typed it in wrong. No, it's not crow haste. It's crow has it. I, I don't know. Anyways, what it is is basically it's a website where you can get free games, programs, and basically stuff. Every game that you would pay money for, you can get for free on here. So, w once you guys get here, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the search and type in uh, Sony Vegas Pro. You don't even have to type in Sony Vegas Pro 15. You just type in Sony Vegas Pro, and it's right here. They also have 14 and 13. Um, I don't know if there's any other versions of it, but... I mean, from 13 to 15 is what they have. So, you guys are basically set. If you guys don't want the Pro 15, it's basically going to be the same way to download it through Sony Vegas... Uh, through <clears throat> the 15. But first, I'm going to link it down in the description, d description for you guys. Uh, you, you can go and download either 7-Zip or WinRAR. WinRAR is really easy. The only thing about 7-Zip is... It's the same thing as WinRAR, except when you download it, you don't get... Like, it, it doesn't ask you if you want to buy it every time, but you can just go here. And then go to WinRAR, whatever bit you have. I have a 64-bit PC, but if you have 32, this also works for it. But yeah, you just go here. Click on WinRAR's uh, x64-bit. <clears throat> and it'll pop up right here. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to re-download it. But, anyways, you're going to go here, type in Sony Vegas Pro. Come to Sony Vegas Pro 15, free download. And, at first, when you go to download it, you're going to want to scroll all the way down. Click on download. And you guys should actually look at this. If you guys don't have anything like this or better, then you should definitely think about downloading um, Sony Vegas 14 or 13. But I'm pretty sure most people who are going to be running this software know the system requirements that they're going to need or if you've been on this website before. So you don't want the alternative download because that is for, um, what is it? It's like a crack version, I guess. And you're going to download, you're going to need to download, um, shit, what's it called? Um... You basically, it's going to give you viruses. So, click on this one. At first, it's going to bring you to some website. Then, just X out of it and go back to it. And it should bring you to either Upload Haven. Okay. So, it's going to bring you to Upload Haven. And it should download really fast. So I guess I could show you guys how to download it. So, after you hit download, it should pop up right here. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna fast forward to once this is downloaded. Okay, so once it's downloaded on your browser, you're gonna click open. And like I said, that's the only thing that happens when you open up WinRAR. You're basically just gonna go to this. Um, You don't go to this one first. If you guys really don't trust me, you can click on the instructions. It'll tell you what to do uh, first. But once, um, first you're gonna click on Sony Vegas Pro 15. This one right here below this and then once the download opens which it should and okay um something comes up uh vegas pro is already installed if you want to reinstall the application please uninstall the existing application before reinstalling okay um let me uninstall this one first and then i'll be right back so to set it up like i said you go here sony vegas pro 15 And you're just going to wait for it to do this. Um, now, once that's done, a little application thing right here should pop up. Yep. That. And then, I don't know why my screen goes black. I'm sorry about that. But, so, 
it's going to come up right here, English, obviously, unless you're French, German, or you speak Spanish. But English, you're going to usually do. Um, I have read the end user license agreement. You're going to click next. Uh, create a desktop shortcut. And what you're going to need to do, actually, is you're going to have to create an account. Um, but after you create your account, this will still be open, and it will say what is, like, the email and everything. Unless you already have, or unless you already made an account for this, but just yeah, just wait one minute. Um, that's where this is gonna come in. You you do not run Sony Vegas either after you're done installing it. You're gonna want to wait to open it until you've installed the patch. And like I said, this does not give viruses. Um, it hasn't slowed my computer down at all. Hasn't given me any problems. Never crashed on me. Um, so you, you guys should be all set with that. But. So this this will just take like a second to install, kind of slow at first. But if you guys have a pretty fast computer, it'll install really really fast. It's just taking a second for me because I'm recording a video right now. But so yeah, this just give this another second or two. Um, here we go. Should be almost done. Yeah, once it starts getting towards the end, it should speed up a little bit. Alright, so now you click finish. Um something else should pop up. I believe. Uh hang on. Once you're done, run the Sony Vegas Pro patch and install, you're done. Okay. So then you're gonna run the patch. Now this is where that account thing comes in. And this should just take a second. This is going very fast. So, wait for it. There we go. Okay. So now you're just going to wait for it to pop up. Click yes. And then, you're going to click next. Now, it's, it's in another language. So, you just click finish. Uh, you... I guess it didn't do it for me since it's already on my computer, or it was on my computer, so I guess it saved the files. But what you're going to want to do is, I guess, just this and see it's all good. Um, At first, you're going to want to do the trial version, um, and then you're going to want to sign up for account and stuff, and then... Hey, you should be you should be all good after that. Uh, or that might have been for the Sony Vegas 14 because I have both installed on my PC. So yeah, I just went right back to to where it usually is. And then from there, you guys can just start creating your videos. Uh, Sony Vegas is really like a good good program to use if you're getting into video editing. It's very simple. You literally just put like all your files and music and all your animations and stuff right here. Uh, you got video FX, so you could add um. So you could add like a, a chroma here. This is for like green screens and stuff. But I'm gonna show you guys the the file or the settings you should use for your videos. Always, uh, you don't want 20 FPS. You usually wanna have your videos at least 60 FPS. But the highest it goes to, um, looking for the 1080p. Okay, so I guess this is the highest one it goes to for now. Uh, that's okay so you want to keep all this pretty much the same except for uh, yeah you're gonna want to keep this all the same and just click on okay you can name it you can name it whatever you want but after you're done you're gonna want to just click this it'll highlight all your video and your uh, audio track and then you're gonna go up here and go to render as it's not gonna let me do it but what you're gonna want to render you know what let me just Put a video up in here so I can show you guys. Um, uh, I guess I can put this up in here. So, um, once you have that in there, just drag it down here. Just click that like that. Just you can double click. Uh, just double click like up here above this yellow arrow, 
and make sure you're at the beginning and then go to file render as and this is this is where it gets a little bit tricky you're gonna want to at least whatever you want to render your video in 720p or 1080p I prefer 1080p just because it, lo it looks nicer uh, when I upload videos to YouTube and it renders out pretty quickly so you're gonna go to Magix AVC slash AAC MP4 internet 1080p 59 FPS uh, to star it that's just what it um it, it just shows your favorites and then you can just click the filter on and then you just name it whatever I'm just gonna name this test and then uh, you're gonna want to save it to your, to your videos so, then just hit render it and I'll start rendering out the video but I'm not gonna render this because I already have this video rendered and everything so it, it wouldn't be smart to render it twice two times the quality but um so if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and like the uh, like the video comment down below share it on instagram twitter all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace